Thank you. Hi, Richard. Can you come in on the Amazon documentary, what your thoughts are on the club being followed by cameras? Do you think there is a moment to talk about uh, that? I am focused two hundred percent in in, in trying to to stay with my with my team, uh, given the best uh, to turn that that um, moment. Of course, that this uh, was a club decision to do a documentary about about Tottenham, and of course. Uh, me, like a, a manager, of course, um, I need to give my best uh, to try to help the club uh, to do what the, the club want. Um, Maritza, how do you analyse that performance today? Oh, but the performance wasn't great, wasn't great. But again, when you can see the early goal and, and of course, uh, in the moment that this is the team, always is tough. And of course, it's a difficult situation because uh, when you want to build your confidence again and be on the game and be solid and and to have the, 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 the calm to play, because always you need to be calm to play, we start to take rest decision, uh, nervous. Uh, of course, the offer wasn't in the, in, the, in the way that you love to play. It's not the best. Um, I understand, of course, the, the fans and everyone. Um, and of course, it's not easy. When you are, uh, I was a professional player in this type of situation, it's so difficult uh, to play. And, and, and of course, Watford uh, was good defending, very strong, um, never gave the, um, the space to us to to be clear and to have the chances to, to with the possibility to, to score. First half was uh, was poor, of course, but second half, I think I need to tell you that uh, I feel very proud and, and we fight and always we take risk. I think we start the game really well. Sonia uh, um, provides good energy uh, from the beginning on the second half and, and of course, the team um, uh, was fighting and never give up and then we were reward for the goal, from the goal of Dele Ali, and I think fully deserve. Um, that is the first step to build our confidence. And we need to stop to concede uh, the poor game, that the poor goal that we are conceding. But of course, after when you analyze the situation after uh, Bayern Munich, it's normal. Uh, we were with our confidence here after Bayern Munich, our confidence in the floor. And ha what happened in Brighton in the first action that we can see the goal and the impact of Toulouse uh, with a big injury uh, to your captain. And, and of course, that was uh, made very difficult, but now it's a step by step. Uh, um, we stay strong. It's only football problems. And we are football people. We are going to try to find a way and we are trying and doing things, uh, trying to be solid and start to perform us in the way that we all expect that we need to perform us. OK, take one from Jim down there. Thank you. Uh, Maurizio, what was your view of the confusion around your goal? Did you fear that it had been ruled out, as it said on the screen? Um, nothing. Nothing to do with us because that is the depend of the Premier League. Is is a we no manage the um, that situation. Um, but of course, I understand that was a little bit conf the confusion uh, and it was tough for for Kike, you know, because it was no goal. Um, but this uh, is not Tottenham uh, uh, responsibility. Is is Premier League responsibility? And of course, like everyone. Maybe the guy that pressed the button made a mistake. Everyone can make a mistake. The most important when you check the goal was uh, was goal. I think was the ball in here, no, in the I don't know shoulder. shoulder. Um, and I think was was legal. Uh, nothing to say, but of course was in this moment was. I, I can understand uh, Watford and I can understand uh, Kike that in that moment for the player was uh, feel so 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 bad. Okay, Sammy, thank you. Well, so it was obviously only, only a point today, but moving forward and given you saying your confidence was at rock bottom, how important do you feel maybe th this point could be to, to rebuilding that confidence? Yes, I think it's, it was so important in the way that we achieved the point on, on the end because I seen uh, the team was fighting, uh, we started to show character, uh, of course that we have quality, but in this type of, of situation the most important is, uh, is the character that, that, that you need to show because um, talent is after, 
you need to fight and and you need to run and you need to be strong in your mind because uh, the effort is always is, is, is double or is massive. Um, when everything is good, uh, you fly. But when everything is, is going against you, you need to be so strong and you spend a lot of energy because, of course, uh, every single action you expect, you know, to score or create a chance. But I think for me it's the first step uh, to build our... Uh, our confidence again. The team after the 7-2 again by Munich was was massive. And the another day, one friend said to me, "Oh, the team um, after five years, I think was uh, was the first time that we receive a a, a knock, no, 7-2. And of course, it's new for us. It's new for the for the player. It's a new new moment. That of course we need time to recover." It. Didn't help the game on Brighton, the first action that we concede and, and lose um, uh, Hugo. But now it's a step by step. But again, the first action we concede today, very poor goal, and then was was tough. But the most important is to show the togetherness and, and the faith in, in us and, and be focused only in to improve in our game. That is the most important. Um, the player have and the squad have my my support, and of course, I need to say that in the last 20 minutes, our fans help us a lot. The energy was amazing on the on the stay in the stadium, and of course, all together we can, you know, to to find again the way to start to to performance in the way that we we expect. Okay, we're going to take two more. Charlie over here. If anyone wants to raise a hand for the last one, Ritzo, you yep, mentioned sure. uh, on Thursday that you didn't think there'd be comings or goings in January. I just wondered if results continue not to improve, do you think your view on that might yeah, change? Yeah, but, but you are guessing. And then, you know, because I am in the last uh, few months, I talk a lot, many, many questions from you, from different interviews. And always I, I am clear with you. I don't say that yes or not. I don't say we are going to sign or not sign, we are going to sell or not sell. Always I told the same. It's not a moment to talk. When I write the moment, we are going to take decision. In, in some way or another, but please, um, I am not contradictory in my in my speech or in my opinion in one press conference or in another. Always say now it's time to stay all together, all the squad together with all the staff and the fans and the club, of course, and and try to to change that atmosphere. It's, I think it's not we are not going to get uh, any benefit if we start to talk about January. January is too far away, a lot of game to play. And I think that is the structure of the club that is working and I uh, thinking and they need to be ready if we need to do something. If not, keep going, you know, but I am happy with my squad and happy with the player that we have. But like always, after what is going to happen in January, I cannot guess today. And happen what happened, you know, the we need to take the responsibility. It's, but that uh, question, if we win all the game until to the end, maybe we, why not to, to, to do something? But if maybe we need something, maybe we need to act, you know, but we need to wait and to stay calm. And the most important now is to provide uh, calm to the, to the squad and the player. And they need now to recover it for Tuesday because it's going to be important to win and, and, build, a, and build again our confidence. Um, it's going to be tough because Champions League always is tough. No, same. Yeah. Yeah.